Welcome back. We are live here in downtown Havana for our WTXL road trip. And joining me now is Matt Throw. He's on the board of directors for the neighborhood neighborhood medical center. Matt, um, you guys serve those who don't have insurance and maybe who don't have enough health insurance. Um, and you guys are also expanding. Tell us about this new dental clinic. Absolutely. We just opened a new dental clinic here in town. It's a full service dental clinic. We've got a great dentist there providing full dental services, uh, extractions, you know, any exams, cleaning, and that's accompanying our existing medical center here. So. All right. And um, tell us, how long have you been here in the Havana community? The dental clinic is, they were right at a month. The full medical center, probably about six to seven months. Um, but Neighborhood Medical Center has been serving the area for over 40 years. So. All right. And as far as the medical care, is this primary care? Absolutely. We do full primary care, um, specialty care, mental health services, pretty much everything. We can help get those who don't necessarily have insurance or are underinsured to the type of care that they need. And tell me your thoughts. Um, is this a pretty um, important facility to the residents here in Gadsden County? Absolutely. The need was definitely here, and we were just glad the neighborhood was able to come into the community and provide these services. They've got the clinics in Tallahassee, and they've been there for a long time, and it's just a huge benefit to the community to have them here. And like you said, there, there's a few in, in Leon County and a, and a few here in Gadsden. Tell me about that. Absolutely. In, in Havana, we have one at the elementary and the middle school and also the clinic over on 5th Street. And then there are four other clinics in Tallahassee and Leon County. So. Okay. And so you guys are serving students out in these schools. Uh, in the two schools here, yes. Uh, we're providing primary, primary care within the school, which is just something that's very rare. Usually you have the ability to go to the nurse's office to get a band-aid and then they send you home. This is something where they can see a full practitioner to, to meet their needs and, and get them healthy and get them back in the classroom. And tell me about um, your role serving on the board of directors. Why, why did you want to get involved? That's an interesting question, but I, I love Havana. It's my adopted home. Um, I had the opportunity to, to serve on the board, and it's just, I've been there about a year, and I'm, I'm very honored to be there. It's a great group of people, and they, I'm very impassioned and well-meaning people. So. All right. Thank you so much, Matt.